feel being raised in an Asian culture where talking openly about your mental health isn't really promoted means I've definitely not been armed with the best skills to talk openly about my well-being. Trying to overcome that programming is a constant challenge and support from my family and working in environments such as Jets where well-being is top of mind is super helpful to me. People in my community, aspiring career women, we don't really talk about things like IVF, miscarriage, loss, infertility. They're really taboo subjects. And what I found is when I did start to talk about them, there were a whole host of people going through exactly the same thing. So in my view, talking about our challenges is the only way to really overcome them. I identify as a, as a male and often what you see in maybe the stereotypes for men is that you really cannot show too much uh, um, emotion, so to say. The mind is as a queer person, sometimes it can be difficult to make yourself feel vulnerable without judgment. So we're also seeing how working mums were perceived in organisations and I didn't want to be perceived in that way, I didn't want to be this kind of working mum whose career was affected by having a child. I put a lot of pressure on myself for that change in my life to not affect my career. I let that go on too long. It wasn't until I sought out some coaching that I could actually see that the change that had taken place in my life, that significant change, was a really positive one.